it's not clear to me exactly like what a 60% AMI studio is is really for in Minneapolis. I mean, I, I don't know that that's the person who has the greatest need. And so we're going to depress housing supply, which will in the long run make housing more expensive in order to help folks who probably aren't the folks who need it the most. And so I, I think that is a, a concern that I have. And I also do, um, I mean, I, I would, would want to point out that this is, in a sense, a tax on future residents, because um, you're going to make more housing in the future more expensive, which I think does let a lot of folks off the hook. I mean, there's a lot of folks in Minneapolis who have, you know, just as an example, own a house, and they've got quite a bit of equity in the house, and they bought the house a while ago, and they're, they're accumulating wealth on that based on how housing supply in Minneapolis has been restricted for a long time. And we're not really asking a lot of those folks who you know, maybe have $300,000 worth of equity in a house. And we're going to ask somebody who's going to move to Minneapolis in, in 2028 to, to help solve our, our housing problem rather than the, the folks who already live here. And I, I think that that's a little bit unfair.